Do you think that it's okay to do them yourself? Or do you think it's important to get someone neutral because it's so hard to take the person out of being an advocate for their own case? I think it's really person specific, whether they're able to be neutral and whether they're able to appear neutral. There are a lot of people and they just cannot listen to people tell them that their case is bad. And if that's you, then you need to get someone more neutral to present your focus group. Because if you're just going to argue with focus group, you're not going to get any useful information. Yeah, I agree. I've done my own. And I think I have the self-awareness where I'm able to be neutral, but it's taken me time to get there. And when you have a real emotional attachment to your case, like this is your first big case, or this is like a case you really, really need to win, or that's just your personality. You're just a a bulldog street fighter and you're just, you can't help but argue your case, then you're not the right person to do it. And, you know, I think if the case is big enough, I think there's a real value to hiring a professional, but it's, I think it's, if it's not big enough, find a friend, have your friend argue, do your cases, you do your friend's cases, trade out. You learn every time you do one, even if it's on someone else's case. Thank you for joining us on Trial Lawyer Nation. 